Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this three part video series, we will learn to make this connecting rod with all of its components, textures, assembly, exploded view and everything else right from scratch. It is divided into three parts where in part one, we'll learn about creating this connecting rod from scratch. In part two, we'll learn about adding details like fillets, chamfers, the partition lines and other components like nuts, bolts, bushing and so on. And in the final part, we'll learn about adding textures, details, materials and creating the final assembly view with the exploded view and its animation as well. So with that, let's get started. So now let's start with the sketch environment. So I'm in the sketch. I'll just select the sketch tool and I'll start with the top plane. I'll go to this rectangle tool and I'll select center rectangle and just make a rectangle using this origin as center. Also go to circle and make a circle with the same center like so. All right, now it's time to add the dimensions. So you can go to smart dimension and select this line, this line and just click here. And this dimension is 62. I'll click here and here and this is 100 and the diameter of this circle is 86. So there we are, we've got three of these assets. Now the next thing that we need to add here is a line, actually a center line. So I'll go to the center line tool and from this center, I'm just going to make a perfectly horizontal line like this. Now let's add a dimension. So I'll add it for this one too and this should be 220 unit and enter. All right, now again, a circle. So go to circle and on this end point, I'm just going to add it like so. And again, the dimension. So this is 38. All right, we are done. Now I'll add a line. Now in this case, I'm just going to make sure that line connects it like this. So it is actually not touching it here or maybe here. I'm just adding it randomly, but we'll add proper constraints to just make it work. So in this case, I'll just connect it maybe now with this line. Now it is coincident. Also, I'll just connect it with the circle just like so. Now it is coincident on both of these geometries. Let's add dimensions. So I'll add the distance of well, from this point to the center line, 16 unit. There we are. And now here I'll just keep it angular. So as you can see, it is not perfectly horizontal. So I'll add an angle of two degrees between these two lines. It is 1.85. Now let's make it two. Well, as you can see, it is now fully constrained. The next thing that we need is a mirror image of this line. So go to mirror entities, select this line to mirror and then select mirror about this line. Also make sure copy is checked and click OK. And there we are. Now a little bit of cleanup work is required. So go to trim entities and trim everything that is inside just like that. Now I'm not trimming these lines, these two construction lines. So carefully just trim it in a way that you don't end up trimming these lines as well. So this one and actually this circle entirely. We don't want this circle right here. We just need a straight line. So there we are. We need a straight line, but we do want this gap right here inside this. Here also I'll trim this and this so that we have this kind of closed geometry. Now it's time to add fillets. So go to fillet. And I'll add a fillet right here, 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 and here. And the fillet radius is 30 mm. So 30, press the tab key and just click OK. And it is done. So this is actually the base shape. Of course, we are going to make several modifications later. But for now, this is what the shape of the base geometry should be. All right, so we are done with sketch fillet. Just click OK and exit out of this sketch. Now we need to extrude this. So go to features, extruded boss base feature, select this entire geometry and this should be extruded to a distance of 20 mm. So 20 and tab key, just click OK and we have the main shape. Now in this case, I did extrude it in one direction, but I'll change it. I'll go to extrude and I'll edit this feature. Now I just want to extrude it 10 unit up and 10 unit below the central plane. Now I'm doing it on purpose because we'll use this feature for all the other features that we are going to add on this base part. So in this direction option, select mid plane. And now we have a distance of 10 unit above the sketch and 10 unit below the sketch. The total height is still 20. Just click OK and here we are. 
So before we move any further, I want to give you this free 2D and 3D practice drawing ebook. Now, if you want to practice with 2D drawings like all of these drawings or maybe even 3D drawings like these drawings, then you can just follow the link in the description of this video and download this entirely free PDF ebook. Now to download the ebook, simply go to the link and it will take you to this page. Simply click here, download now, and that's going to just give you a pop up where you need to add your name, email, add it, click download, and you'll have the link of this free PDF ebook. This ebook has 60 practice drawings and this book keeps on updating regularly. And when updated, you can always go to the same link here and then download this ebook. Once again, the link is in the description. Now back to the video. Now let's go to sketch again and I'll select the sketch tool. And once again, I'm going to select the same plane that we used previously. So that's the top plane right here. And using the same center, we'll start making geometries once again. So I'll add the first one here and I'll add one more circle right about here. Now, in this case, this circle and this one is concentric, but not this. So we just need to ensure that this circle as well as this arc remains concentric. So I'll select this and control select this arc and just add the concentric constraint. And now we can add the dimension. So for dimension, well, here we are. This should be 78. And this one here is 18. All right, now exit out of this sketch and here we'll use this to create holes. So go to feature and select extruded cut, select this. And of course, we need to select this one too. So go to sketch contours, right click, clear selection, and it will automatically select both of these contours just like this. Now here also, we just wanted to cut the feature above as well as below this. So I'll go to this feature here and here I'll select mid plane once again. Now here you can select a distance or you can select through all. Now, if you want to keep design intent in mind, then definitely you should select through all. But when you select that, then you may need to add another direction as well. So here I've added both the directions now and in both the direction it's through all. So now it will cut up as well as below this. And with that, just click OK and we have this cut feature added. Now we need to build upon this thing. It is still not complete. So to add the feature, once again, I'll go to sketch, sketch plane, and I'll just add it again on top plane. Now go to circle and here, I'll just make sure that this circle and this one are co-radial. But before that, let's add another concentric one. Here also, I'll just make sure that we have one for this, another one just for this. All right, now select this and this, and just make sure they are co-radial. And then we have this one and here we'll add a dimension. So this should be 54. And here we are. Now here also we'll just make it co-radial. So I'll just select this and I'll select this arc and I'll make it co-radial. Not only that, I'll select this one and this one and I'll make it co-radial too. So here we don't need to add any kind of dimension. All right, so we are done. Let's exit out of this and here we need to extrude both of these features. So I'll go to feature, extruded boss base feature, select just a sketch. And of course, this is extruding just this part. We don't want it. So I'll right click and clear selection. Now it has selected both of these. Now in this case, once again, go to direction one and select mid plane. And of course, as you can see, we just need to extrude it above and below as well. And the total height is 32, just like this. Now, in this case, if you want to give this thing another height, then you can do that as well. And I'll actually add the extruded height only for this region. So I'll just make sure that I click inside these two concentric circles and then this height is 32. I'll click OK and then I'll repeat the process for this side. But as you can see, the sketch is no longer visible. So go to boss extrude feature, select the sketch and click on show. Now the sketch will show up again. Go to extruded boss base feature, select only this sketch this time. Again, this is just highlighted. We don't want it. So right click, clear selection, and now select only this part, the part that is just inside this. But as it is not selecting the region inside, we can select these two sketches instead. And we have the concentric part selected. So select both of these sketches and now here it is. And this height is slightly more than what we had previously. So it is 36. Press tab key and click OK. So we have different heights for this and this, and that's why I selected it in two different steps. 
Now we can select this sketch and hide it. Now let's add the details here. And before adding details, we'll actually add the cut feature here for this part. Now to add the cut feature, once again, I'll go to sketch and the sketch tool and select the same plane, the top plane. And now I'll just select line tool. I'll create a line that just touches these two. It is coincident here as well as here. And then I'll select another line which touches this one and this one. Now, of course, this is random. We'll take care of it in a moment. But for now, I'll just select it like this and then I'll go to convert entity. I'll select this edge. I'll select this edge and just click OK. All right. So these two are also converted. Now that we have this, well, let's add the proper constraints. So this one and this edge, they both should be parallel like this. Again, this one and this edge, they both should be parallel. And then we should have a distance between these two. And that distance is three unit. And the same distance is applicable for this side. Now, in this case, if you want, you can just put a larger value like maybe five and we'll maybe add five unit distance just to have room for creating fillet. So I'll just change it back to well five. All right, there we are. Now let's go to trim entities and just trim this extra portion and this extra portion. So we have this closed loop right here. Now exit out of this sketch and this one too completely. And now we'll use this for the cut feature. So I'll go to features and extruded cut and I'll select, well, this is sketch as you know. And as you can see, it is extruding it in both directions. Now we don't want it for this example. I'll simply go to this mid plane and select blind. And for the direction, well, I'll just reverse it. So click here and the direction will be upwards. But again, we have a problem. It is cutting it exactly from the mid plane. We don't want it. So I'll go to this from option and I'll select offset. Now I leave a gap between this plane and from where it starts cutting it. And the gap I'm going to leave here is three unit. All right. So it will leave a gap of three unit, this tiny gap here, and then it will start cutting it. And now the direction is through all. So it will cut it only up to the top plane. So just like this, click OK and we are done. So we have this cut feature. Now I'll use the mirror tool to just mirror this feature. So the feature is cut extrude and the tool mirror is here. So I'll go to mirror and let's go to feature. And the feature that we want to mirror is in this feature tree that's cut extrude. All right. And then I'll go to mirror face or plane. The mirroring plane is this top plane. That's this one. Now it will create a mirrored image of this one. So it will just create another cut right here exactly with same parameters. And we have that cut feature here. So we don't have to do it again. Now it is almost done, but we still have some details to add in this. And to add the detail, once again, I'll go to sketch and the sketch tool and the top plane. Now, as you can see, I'm using only the top plane as reference for making this drawing, though you can use other planes and just keeping design intent in mind. I'm just making it that mid plane. All right, let's go to rectangle tool. And this time I'm selecting corner rectangle. So I'll select corner rectangle and I'll add a rectangle just like this. All right, now press escape and here we need to constrain this one too. So I'll add the dimension from this line to this line. Let's just make it 18. And from this point to this, it should be 18 as well. All right, and now we'll add a distance from this origin. So from origin to this point, it should be, well, 38. And from origin to this line right here, it is 20. Actually, it should be 24. All right. So there we are. So we've added it. It is fully constrained, but we are not done yet because we want another rectangle on this side. So instead of making it again, I'll simply just create a center line connecting this center with this one, or you can just make it a straight completely random like this. But here we do have a center, so I'll just connect it and now create a mirror. So mirror entity. And well, of course, I'll just select this one, this rectangle and go to mirror about this line right here. Now copy should be checked and click OK. Here we are, we've got the mirror image. Now exit out of this sketch and now we can do the extruded cut here. So go to feature, extruded cut, select the sketch and again go to sketch contours and clear selection. 
now here i'll select mid plane and you can select through all or maybe if you are selecting through all then add direction 2 as well and here also select through all so any feature is fine here i'll select through all in direction 1 through all in direction 2 and there we are it is just creating this kind of cut feature click ok and we are done now we just need to add the details like fillets and chamfers in this so let's start with fillet so i'll go to fillet and we'll start with this one as the first fillet so here here this one and on this side right about here so we've got this fillet and the fillet radius is 10 in this case now the total height is 20 so this will make a perfect semicircular border here click ok and there we are now let's add fillet inside this feature so i'll go to fillet again and i'll change the fillet radius i'll make it two unit and now i'll add it here on this edge but before I do that, maybe we'll add fillet here and here. And here we just need a larger value for the fillet. And actually, we want a fillet of 6 unit for this. So 6 and there we are. Click OK. Done. Now we can add the smaller ones. So fillet and we can use the 2 unit fillet now. So 2 unit radius here. And we'll add it on this edge right here and we'll add it on this edge as well now make sure that tangent propagation is checked this tangent propagation so that it just checks it from this point right up to this point and we'll repeat it for this side for this inner edge and this bottom edge as well so right here and we'll just reverse the direction just like so and we'll add it here and finally one here all right so we've got this added click ok and the fillets are added well on all the sides now we need to add few fillets right inside this so go to fillet again and just select this edge right here and then another edge right about here and we'll select this edge right here and this edge it looks like it is already selected but if not we'll just make the selection and it is already selected because of the tangent propagation it is completely selected but not on this side and that's because we don't have the two fillets right here so here i'll uncheck this and i'll uncheck this as well now we only have the fillet right here it is applied all the way around so click ok that's totally fine here and then we'll add the two fillets here which we missed so instead of making new fillet i'll just go to the original one which we created that's this one and i'll go to edit feature and now simply add this edge and this edge that's it click ok and the two fillets are also added now we have the fillet 3 where it is added here and then fillet 4 where it's added on the bottom edge now similarly modify the fillet 4 so right click go to edit feature and we'll simply click on this inner edge right here and it will add it all the way around like this click ok and we are done so all the fillets are added now finally we just need to add a few chamfers now to add the chamfer go to this chamfer tool right here and just add the first chamfer right on this edge of 2 mm distance i'll add it here as well now we are going to add the two unit chamfer on this edge and two unit on this edge right here and right inside this as well all right with that just click ok and we need a larger chamfer value for this one so let's go to chamfer again and select this edge and this edge now this chamfer distance is going to be 5 there it is just click ok and we have the larger chamfer value here that's added and now we are almost done we just need to add the hole here but before we add the hole we just need to select the plane for creating it and also there is one more feature that I want to highlight here we can increase this whole width so actually it's very small so maybe we'll just change that too so for changing the hole I'll go to this cut extrude feature because I know this is the cut extrude feature which created this hole actually it's not that cut extrude feature it's this boss extrude feature which created it and that happens to be 54 which we need to change so I'll go to this boss extrude feature this is sketch and edit this all right now this is 54 so double click this and let's just make it 58 now this increase the value that's what we need simply click ok and exit out of this sketch and here we are so everything changed accordingly you don't need to do anything else all right 
now the holes for hole i'll go to sketch and sketch tool and this is the only situation where probably i'm going to use a plane other than the central plane so here i'll maybe select this one right here this plane and let's add the hole so i'll simply create a circle right here and another circle just about here now the radius so i'll add the dimension here and i'll make it six unit i'll also ensure that these two are equal so simply select this and then control select this and apply the equal constraint and then add the distance so distance from this point to this one 43.2 and here also it should be 43.2 now in this case you can use a construction geometry as well but it I'll not use it I'll simply add two dimensions but it is better if you use a construction geometry instead of adding two separate distances for example a line like this and maybe another construction line that is like this and in this case you can just delete one of these dimensions and for the second one you can add equal constraints so select this line and then select this one using control key and just make them equal and now if you change this dimension it will automatically change all right so with that i'll exit out of this sketch and now we can create the hole so feature extruded cut feature select this and go to sketch contours clear selection well it is selected like this it should go through so make sure through all is selected there is no direction to just click ok and we are done so we have the connecting rod finished